Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for the 19th of March through the 25th. Generally my readings are love readings. We're going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these and then we're going to break into the tarot deck and I will reveal this card at the end. Due to the jumping, I'm going to go ahead and take that. This is for the sign of Libra. What do we have for Libra? Oh, Knight of Cups reversed. <laughs> Somebody could be emotional. Maybe not really accepting love or offering love. There's no relationship growth. I mean, that's what that means. Oh, indecision. There's indecision here. Probably there could be that could be in re, in uh, regards to a relationship next to that Knight of Cups reversed. Maybe there's no communication coming in from someone. There could be also be some dishonesty here. Okay, there's a lack of relationship growth. Okay, there is, and you guys are probably unable to make it final. You're unable to be honest with yourself. Okay, I mean that's what that is. It is your card. It is reversed. And you guys don't have to like me for giving you the message. That's okay. But somebody is being dishonest. And I think it's with yourself. Because this is you. In regards to a relationship where there's no growth. You know, and it's time to bring back some balance to your life. It's time to let yourself heal. Everything happens for a reason. A reason. You, okay? It's time for a renewal. You know, if you deserve a lot, right? You give what you get. Or you get what you give. You get what you give. That's what it is. This is about deserving more. Maybe that's where you're being dishonest with yourself. Perhaps you don't know what you deserve. Could that be the case? It's time to accept the truth of a situation. You are being offered the raw truth. You are being offered the power to heal, to bring balance back to your life, but you're not doing it. This is lack of balance. This is, you need to, you need to do what's right to bring back balance to your life, but you're refusing to do what's right. I mean, that's what the card means. And you guys don't have to like me for bringing you the message, okay? You lack the desire, the energy, the effort to be honest with yourself, to do the right thing. But you deserve a whole lot more. But you're concentrated on the grief. You're concentrating on the hurt. When it's really time to make a conscious change, it's time to make a conscious change to rid yourself of this negative energy, to rid yourself of this person that doesn't have your best interest at heart. Okay, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very conceited, self-centered, unreasonable, okay, and you deserve more. Negative. You've got somebody that you're dealing with that is very negative. And, you know, you're being offered the raw truth to bring balance and harmony back to your life and to make a conscious change. But you're not putting in effort to make a conscious change. Okay? You have to stop letting this sorrow control your life. This heartache. Okay, you need to make a conscious change that allows you to heal, to to forgive, to find your power to heal. I mean, this is what this is. You need to heal from this heartache. You need to look at this as a lesson, accept it as truth, make the conscious change because you deserve more. I mean, this is what this is.
it's time for you to free yourself the balance awaits. This is balance awaits. This is balance awaits. This is balance awaits. I mean, come on now. It's time for you to bring balance back to your life. It is. It is. But you have to put in the effort. You do. You have to. There's lack of effort in healing. Okay? You have to really make the effort. You really, really do. Okay? You have to really, really use your power. Okay? The thing is, is you're playing tug of war. All right, these mental conflicts or conflicts, period. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of um, reluctance, okay? It's time to let this go. This isn't a game. Your heart is not a game. Your heart is not a game, okay? You're dealing with somebody who was into sex and money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You are also got a uh, fire sign, Sagittarius. Aries and Leo here. You also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, I mean, and you, you know, whatever. The fact of the matter is, is this energy is an energy. You are dealing with somebody who is only interested in everything but love in reverse. This guy in reverse is interested in a roof over their head. I said balance awaits balance awaits but you know you have a new door that's opening if you could just let this go if you could just stop this conflict if you could just stop this tug of war with your mind with your heart okay but this person that you're dealing with I feel like you have a choice do you move forward and find a new commitment or do you stay stuck here do you stay stuck I feel like you have a new door, you're at a crossroads, and you, you know, where are you focusing your energy? Are you focusing it on the past, or are you focusing it on the future? I think for many of you, you're focusing it on the past. There could have been a third party situation, okay? And you're unable to move away from it because you were committed. But this, there's, there's no growth here. There's no growth in this commitment that, you're, that you are unable to accept. Okay, the, the truth of. You are being offered the raw truth in regards to a commitment. That there's no forward movement here. Okay? There isn't. There's no, nothing going to happen here. It was very, you know, unjust. You know, and I feel like you have these fears of growing old alone and you're feeling very lonely, but you're not taking action. You know, you really need to step back and focus on what you want, what you want in your future. What does, what do you want your future to look like? It's time for you to step back and really focus. What do I want? What do I want in my future? What do I want in 10 years from now? Where do I want to be in 10 years from now? Do I want to be alone in 10 years from now? I mean, is that what you want to do? Do you want to be alone in 10 years from now? You've been stalling for sure. You have. You've been stalling because you're waiting for something where there's no growth. You know, you definitely could be dealing with a, a, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And again, I mean, this is very similar energy. Reversed. You're dealing with somebody is not coming your way. They're not. There's no forward movement here. And they are interested in everything but love. Very materialistic. Both of these. Right together? And I think you're probably angry. You're probably angry and bitter because this person's not offering love. I mean, they're not. And this could be any sign because you have all the signs here. It's time for you to invest in yourself. Okay? This, this Whatever you're waiting on is unrealistic. Okay, it really is time for you to invest in yourself. It is time for you to work on something else. Put your energy someplace else. The thing is, is you, you can't, right? You can't. You're unwilling to see anything new. You're unwilling to accept this challenge. You're unwilling to follow a new path. You lack eagerness. There's a lack of drive here, lack of ambition and drive to work on anything else at this time because, you know, you're concentrating on the loss when you shouldn't be. It's time for you to have faith and realize the truth. And some of you may be 
starting to realize the truth because this is starting to realize the truth that's what it means reversed but you have to sever ties you, to so you may be starting to sever ties but then again we have these fives five 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 power struggles major life choices you have some major life choices another five 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 is major life changes so this reading shall be labeled choices and changes because this is what it's about. Your choices determine your future. And it looks like you're letting yourself be conflicted and remain defeated because of somebody who's not offering what you love. And it's time for you to sever the ties with this person who is not communicating with you okay this person is not communicating with you um, they lack emotional emotions okay they lack emotions to, to communicate with you it's like they're cold-hearted you're dealing with somebody who is not going to offer you the love that you're seeking I don't know who this person is but you have all the signs here and you may feel like you're a victim here and you may be overly emotional because of this because of the severing of ties but it doesn't lead to stability and security it doesn't I feel like there is some sort of it's time to free yourself it is it's time to free yourself from whoever this person is that isn't offering you love somebody is not offering you love and you are completely in denial okay you are completely in denial about this it's time to have self-respect and integrity demand respect because you're dealing with somebody who is conceited self-centered and may have only been interested in sex and money so I feel like today or today this week is a week about <coughs> owning up to the truth to bring success to your life really stepping back and focusing on what you want your next 10 years to be are you going to consider yourself a victim are you going to consider are you going to continue to cry about this and not see a new approach God, you're un unwilling to shed the past and accept reality. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're letting fear and confusion rule your life. And you have to be willing to shed the past. Upright, you're being tricked. This is trickery. I mean, reverse is trickery, sorry. This is trickery. You are being tricked. There's lack of awareness, lack of action. I can't take action at this time because, because why? You're living in some illusion and you love, you love too openly. You have these, these feelings of wanting to be together. I need to be in a relationship. I need, I love. I feel as though you are, you have, you're a dreamer. You're some sort, you have these dreams that you just can't let die. But it's over, okay? It's over. The thing is, is you can't, these are the dreams that you cannot let die. Son of a bitch. Okay? This is what this is. This is dreams and you will not let them die. It's the death card. It's time. It's time to step over the finish line. It is time. It's time for you to st end this cycle that you are holding on to. It's time, and you are, this is truth in many other decks. It's reversed. You're unable to accept the truth and move on. Loathing. This is self loathing. Unable to accept the truth and end a vicious cycle. Because of your dreams, you're obsessed. This is an obsession. You need to, you keep, let go, let go. Oh my God. 
there's a lack of self-love here. You're being called to, you can't change the script. This is the written script, but you are trying to change. You can't change the script. The script has already been written and it's time for you to follow. Follow the script. There's no growth. This is also smothering and selfishness. Lack of self-love. Lack of wish fulfillment. Wherever it is that you're dreaming about, that you're obsessed with, there's no wish fulfillment here. I feel like you might have, you probably have an opportunity with someone else, but you can't even fathom it because of there's anger and bitterness. But I think that, you know, if you could love yourself unconditionally, you would find true love. So I think you have an opportunity for new love. I do. I do. But you have to let go of something that is keeping you unbalanced. I feel as though somebody is interested in you right now. That's what I think. I think somebody is interested in you right now. Probably a water sign could be any sign they're all here this person is not even being considered or they're they don't dare to communicate with you because they know where you're at you're stuck somewhere where you're being dishonest with yourself I think you have a love interest I do oh my god you absolutely do you do. You have a choice. This is a choice, okay? It's an unexpected choice in love. I feel like you guys have a choice between two people. What's it going to be? Do you stay stuck in the past where somebody's not offering you anything? Or do you move forward with someone new? I think there's an unexpected attraction here with another person. And I think that you should really consider it. This person is not your usual type. And it's not the person who left you. This is somebody who's new. This is a new person. You ready? Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. I'm going to put that right here. I, I, I really feel like you need to have compassion for yourself. You deserve to be loved. Talk to you later.